Yeah, let's start with the Yankees. They dodged a bullet here. Uh, they got some controversy at home, too. Uh, they were scared. They thought Juan Soto might have torn a tendon in his forearm, uh, maybe by virtue of all the violent swings going for the home runs. Uh, cannot play. Underwent an MRI. MRR came back, showed inflammation, but no tear, no elbow ligament damage, no tendon in the forearm damage. So he might be going back on into the lineup maybe as early as Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday of this week. Take a deep breath. I mean, because he has really helped carry the Yankees to the best record in the American League. Now, they got some controversy, and this was kind of crappy at Yankee Stadium on Sunday. You know, the Dodgers came in and beat them twice. And the Yankees finally bounced back and won on Sunday. And the guy who came to the plate with men on base and just got booed viciously. And then the fans started to yell, Soto, Soto. I'm talking about Trent Grisham. Okay. He of .083 batting average. Right. Hit a three-run homer and a solo homer. Right on. Yeah, good for him. And they won the game. Aaron Judge was livid in the clubhouse after the game. And, of course, Judge has carried the team. Yeah. Judge is hitting 419 since May 2nd with 18 home runs. He was really peeved at Yankee fans for booing a teammate. Said the guy's hardly played. The guy had an opportunity. The guy won a game for us. He doesn't deserve to be mocked with your fans yelling, Soto, Soto. Next team. This is awful because this is a good player. He can't stay healthy. He's on the disabled list for the seventh time in two and a half years since he signed a $158 million mega contract for the Rockies, talking about Chris Bryant. Mm. And it, he's just cursed right now. And he's had every conceivable injury, back problems, calf problems, foot problem. Now he's got a rib cage oblique problem on the DL seven and a half, seven times in two and a half years. He's missed more games than he's played for the Rockies. Investment hasn't worked out. Uh, Toronto Blue Jays, Chicago Cubs. This is kind of unique. There's a big uproar in Toronto of how they've underachieved. The pitching's had injury problems. The big bats aren't hitting. The Blue Jays are taking offers on some of their bats, including Vladimir Guerrero. And you and I have talked about the uniqueness of a stadium. It might be Fenway Park, short mm -hmm. Green Monster, Yankee Stadium, right field wall, Cubs, Wrigley Field confines. Cubs, Vlad Guerrero. Man, would that add some oomph to the Chicago yes, Cubs lineup? Of course, they already have Cody Bellinger, mm -hmm. and they traded Mike for Mike Bush, the Dodger first baseman. Uh, Toronto wants a load. Obviously, they want they want a whole pile of prospects, and I would assume Peter Crow Armstrong, the top young center fielder, is hitting like 390 at AAA, would have to be part, and a pitcher would have to go as part of the Guerrero deal. But Toronto looks like uh, they're probably about to shake this situation up. And the other team is the White Sox. For the first time in your life, tomorrow, with all the channels you subscribe to out here in the family room, mm -hmm. find the White Sox game. Drew Thorpe, Padres phenom who was traded, Dylan Cease deal. Right on. Called up, going to make his first start, Chai Sox, tomorrow. Nice. 7-1, and 1.34 1 ERA and double A. And double A leagues are pretty good. And in two and a half years in the minors, the kid the Padres traded away is 21 and three. So tomorrow, uh, Chicago, last I checked, geography was Central Standard Time. So you'll be out of commission probably effectively at, at 5 p.m. West Coast time. Right. So give me a scouting report on Drew Thorpe when that happens. So that's what's going on, baseball headlines. Well, you know, I saw Drew Thorpe pitch in Peoria when he is with the Padres. And he looked really good, you know, as we were there for one of the last few spring training games. And so this guy's legit, you know, so I think I expect him to do great things for the White Sox. White Sox sure as hell could use some talent on that team. They've been just so horrible for so long. Think about that. 21 and three in the minor leagues. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, that's just nuts. So the, the other comment I'll make is about the Yankees. And. I'm shocked that Trent Grisham is still on this team. I mean, he was kind of a throw in, you know, just to kind of move some money, I think, as part of the deal. Take the contract, pal. That's exactly it. So how did he hang around this long? I mean, great that he got a home run and won the game and good for Aaron Judge standing up for his guy. But I'm just shocked he's still there. Well, the Yankees probably not willing to eat the last year of this contract this year at 8.3 mil. Hmm. But he does have a gold glove and he has proven he can hit in streaks. Not recently. But he's 
He's not getting any ABs in games, so that's why he's got a, a .083 he ERA. He hasn't hit since the short 2020 COVID season. Yeah. And then he had some home runs in the Padres playoff run when they got to the NLCS. Um, but other than that, he's just been a dud at the plate. He hits like right around 200, yeah. but but actually less now. Yeah. I mean, he's an expensive fourth guy, but he's a fourth guy that's got some sort of track record. But I thought that was kind of cheap. They boot him because – He's a good guy, and he's an honest guy. He's not a hitter anymore, but he's still got gold glove capabilities. Okay, we move on. 